Hi everyone, I'm Alan from Speed Quizzing. I'm going to show you how you can use something called Power Over Ethernet as a more substantial way to power these little speed quizzing hubs. Everyone loves the hubs, but one criticism is that people often say, oh, can't we, is there not a better way of doing it than using a little USB cable? The USB cable that comes with it isn't very long. You can extend that if you want. You can get by a longer one, but they don't recommend using any USB cables to power things long, more than two meters anyway. So that would be a longer one. You could use that. But there is something called power over ethernet which allows you to go up to i think it's about 50 meters which is great when we're telling people to get your uh, your hub above head height to make it work better in pubs for performance reasons using something like this which is a little camera stand with a, a phone clip on top watch this it's a great thing and it does make a massive difference to the reliability of your quiz if you get it above head height but the problem then is your little cable that comes with it um, is no longer really long enough to plug it into anything so we're going to use uh, something called power over ethernet now these things this is called a power over ethernet splitter and in one end it's got an ethernet socket the other end it's got an ethernet plug and a micro usb so when you're buying one of these you can buy any any um, power over ethernet splitter about between five and ten pound on the internet on ebay um, but make sure it's got a micro USB. It will always have an Ethernet socket there. Make sure it's got a micro USB there. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to plug the Ethernet socket into the Ethernet, what you would usually put your normal Ethernet uh, plug in, sorry, and the power in the power thing. So you've got two things coming down. That dangles down. You can put it in there. And do it like that. Uh, and then, so it's powered through an Ethernet cable. That's the clever thing put an ethernet cable in here now this can be as long as you want so instantly it's a lot more flexible the next thing you need is a power over ethernet injector which is this a lot more substantial than your little um, what do you call it isn't it your little um, USB charger thing so this has a kettle lead on this one the different types but they're like the ones with the kettle lead this cost me four pounds second hand you buy about ten pound new like the unbranded ones it's quite an expensive one i got quite a few of these on ebay um xi xl them i think they were about 50 pound when they were new the four pound can't complain with that and then on here so you plug that in obviously into the wall and then you would take your ethernet cable that you plugged into that and you plug it in the one that says power over ethernet and data so when you plug that into the wall you'll now see the lights come on there it's powered but obviously you're now wondering, yes, but I connect that to my laptop to uh, make the quiz work. So then all you do is you plug your cable that you would plug into that usually into there, into the other Ethernet socket, what's just called um, data, and you plug that end into the laptop. So the laptop's connected into there, then power is added to the uh, Ethernet signal, goes down there, up that, that splits it, goes into there, Bob is your uncle. 